Welcome to Dr. Rajesh Verma's YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing Kanan Bard theory of emotions. As in the previous videos, we have discussed the James Lenz theory. So the next step of the explanation of emotions is the Kanan Bard theory of emotions. Uh, you can see an image here. This image I taken from scienceofpeople.com shows when you are in a particular type of emotions, what go undergoes inside your body. This is infrared image. So here, just check that when you are happy, almost your total body except your face and your uh, lungs and heart almost every portion body is your red color and when you are neutral this will be your uh, internal reaction of your body and when you are in anger see this is the anger state so when you discussed fear sadness surprise envy shame pride so uh, one thing i do tell you this is nothing to do with your current theory but this is uh, very important for your emotions. It means when you uh, experience emotions, what goes inside your body can be shown through the uh, infrared images. So let us move to our today's discussion. We will focus more on our Kennedy theory of emotions. Before starting, the Kennebard theory, we have to uh, dug deep why the theory is important, why theory is required. So to do that, we need to have some critical review of James Lane's theory of emotions. Here it is. The James Lane's theory was in fact a cause effect theory and that went into disuse due to widespread criticism by scholars and by researchers. In response to it means in response to widespread spread criticism of James Lane's theory, a new theory was proposed by Walter Cannon and Philip Barth in 1927 and 34. And the, the proposal of both the researchers was similar, so their their idea was combined, and later it's known as Cannon Barth theory of motions. So, what are the criticism? What are the critical points that highlight the James Lane theory? That is available on explorever.com, but I want to also explain here. First, emotions are not connected to the physiological reactions. In other words, physical reactions can be experienced without emotions. This is the first criticism. The second one is various emotions have similar visceral reactions and changes. For example, when you experience anger, that time your heart start beating with a uh, higher intensity. Similar the case with when you are feeling happy, same your heart's beat increases. So in the, both the cases, your heart beat increases. But whereas uh, James Lane theory say there is a specific physiological reaction for specific emotions. So here, here is a generalized thing means heart rate is uh, improves increases in both the cases whether you are angry or you are happy. So this is what the second criticism. Third one, it has found that various internal organs are reasonably insensitive parts of the body. Means the internal organs are almost have no response or highly insensitive to various uh, stimuli. So in that case, it is not that every internal organ is uh, physiologically aroused when you experience the emotions. So this one is the third criticism of James Lane's theory. Here goes the fourth one. Means strong emotions that are typically attributed to sp specific visceral changes may not be produced if the same visceral changes are triggered through artificial means. They want to say, the critics, critics suggest that when through the artificial means we stimulate the visceral uh, changes 
in that case we are not likely to experience the strong emotions means when we experience the strong emotions there may be visceral changes but vice versa is not true that is if you uh, trigger the artificial changes uh, through visceral uh, through artificial means in the visceral then in that case we not need not to experience the uh, specific emotions related to that visceral changes and the fifth criticism was the action of the subcortical center of the brain leads to emotional expression means purely by virtue of changes in the visceral system doesn't produce you call it as a uh, leads to emotional experience along with that there are subcortical centers in the brain that are that play important role in emotional expression and is emotional experience too so next criticism sixth one is affective experience results from thalamic responses seventh uh, uh, let me explain you the sixth point is the thalamus is a very important brain part that plays a, a very significant role in affective experiences affective means mood or emotional it you can call it as it. and the seventh uh, criticism was no alteration on emotional behavior occur when the visceral is totally separated from the central system or central nervous system so it's a very funny thing they explained through the removal of uh, connection between the central nervous system and visceral in the cats and they were still alive even visceral was removed and the cat was still alive this means the emotional behavior remains as it is whether you have viscera in, inside you or not this has been proved by the uh, various experiments where cats were being alive after a viscera has been removed and uh, if you that remove the connection between the central nervous system and the viscera still we experience the emotions so on the basis of these seven criticism uh we can uh, uh, say that james and theory was went to issues so the ne- then there has to be some theory that has to explain it so that was uh, theory was kennebert theory of emotions here it goes the kennebert theory of emotions it's a uh, very crispy within these three uh, lines or you can say the one line if you want to study what kennebert said about the emotions the theory suggests that emotional experience and emotional behavior occur simultaneously so if you want to understand kennebert theory of emotions this is only one important sentence very significant sentence that explain whole concept of kennebert theory of emotions means emotional experience that is cognitive changes and internal body changes inside your brain system inside your mind inside your body and emotional behavior that is external body changes that is your facial expressions you uh, the behavior during the emotional experience they occur simultaneously that was the uh, gist of juice of kennebert theory of emotions let us understand it through the diagram suppose when you experience a stimulus it's a dangerous st- reptile and someone during the interaction with this reptile or generally you do not interact with that but when you face this stimuli we have as per kennebert emotional experience as well as emotional behavior simultaneously and this one is the case we try to fight or flight with the stimulus Sim- simultaneously we show our behavior manifest our behavior as well as experience the emotions so this is the whole this, this slide completely shows the kennebert theory of emotions so in dear friends it's a very important one and you can uh, understand from this point that again i am repeating emotional experience and emotional behavior 
occur simultaneously. So, let us explain the what is uh, behind this process of simultaneous occurrence of emotional behavior and emotional experience. Here it goes, dear friends. The Kennan-Bard theory claims that the entire process of emotion is mediated by the thalamus. So, the very uh, major role played by the thalamus in emotions has been shown by the Kennan-Bard. And they say, which after perception of the emotion provoking stimulus, conveys this information simultaneously to the cerebral cortex. For what? For the emotional experience and to the skeletal muscles and sympathetic nervous system for the emotional behavior. So this is the explanation. You can understand through the diagram which is mentioned here. See, what we want to say in this diagram here is, uh, see, when you experience a stimulus, so dear friends, we are discussing the diagram. See, when we experience an emo stimulus, that from that stimulus, the information travels through senses to the thalamus. Thalamus simultaneously uh, transfers the information, pass the information to sympathetic nervous system and skeletal muscles and, as well as to cerebral cortex. What cerebral cortex is responsible for that? As per Karen Barth, subjective experience of the emotions. We experience the emotions, whereas what happens through the sympathetic nervous system and mus muscles activation? the physiological changes that occurs that enables the action or you can call it as a emotional behavior. So dear friends, this is a model of Kennan-Bart theory of emotions. So the major role played by the uh, thalamus is uh, uh, passing the information, distributing the information to the sympathetic nervous system as well as the cerebral cortex. So dear friends, Little bit, or we let us explain some more. The cerebral cortex then determines the nature of the perceived stimulus by referring to past experiences. So this is how we experience the emotions. Means the major role played by the emotions in emotions as per the canon body, the cerebral cortex as well as thalamus. Here. In emotional experience, cerebral cortex determines the nature and interpret that the information received through the stimulus, uh, from the stimulus, and that matches with the past experiences. Through this, this determines the subjective experience of the emotions. After matching with the past experiences, cerebral cortex, through cerebral cortex, we undergo uh, experience of the emotions and that is subjective one at the same time similarly when cerebral cortex is busy with uh, determining the nature of the perceived stimulus sympathetic nervous system and the muscles provide physiological arousal and prepare the individual to take action that can be either your fight or flight. You can clearly understand through this diagram, dear friends. See, when you experience, as per the Kennebart theory, it's the best diagram that shows the total Kennebart theory of emotions explanation, deep explanation. See, when you meet, feel in a uh, stimulus, that is a fear, uh, this is a fear provoking reptile, the information through senses pass to the thalamus. See, this is a thalamus. From this, your information reaches to the central nervous system as well as the cerebral cortex. Cerebral cortex is responsible for your subjective experience of the emotions. Whereas your central nervous system as well as skeletal system, uh, muscular system, both are responsible for the emotional behavior. Getting my point? This is your emotional experience and this is your emotional behavior. It's a very wonderful diagram and with that depicts the total canon bard theory of emotions. So I need to uh, explain it once again. Oh, okay, I'll explain it once again. 
while when we experience uh, uh, stim stimulus the information from the stimulus travels to your thalamus thalamus pass that information simultaneously to your cerebral cortex and to the skeletal muscles and the central nervous skeletal muscles and the central nervous system the central nervous system and skeletal muscles are responsible for your emotional behavior and that is your cerebral cortex responsible for your the emotional experience so this one is totally a uh, very important diagram and comprehensive diagram that explains your canon bart theory of emotions so dear friends this was uh, canon bart theory this is my references you can cross check them and if you want to study deeper you can refer this or you can refer other books etc so the next video will be yes you are you can guess and you are right that has to be scatter singer theory of emotions so how that uh, important part of that emotions is stimulus feelings arousal cognitive labeling emotions okay we will not confuse you with this we'll meet you with the next in the next video and with a wonderful explanation of the scatter singer theory of by the time dear friends thank you for watching this video we'll be meeting you soon with the next video that i told you scatter singer theory of emotions but one important thing if you like this video share with the friends if you dislike it share with me but how to share with me there are two options you can write in my comment box or you can email me at varmasujit@yahoo.com once again uh this is my uh, you can call the email and dear friends once again thank you very much for watching this video